Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to tell you about the worst fucking invention in the history of gymnastics and tricking. And it's this, the air track competition floor. So to give you some context, trickers and gymnasts usually like to train on either spring or foam floor. These are made up of stiff foam blocks or springs, two layers of wood and then mats on top. They give you a little bit of extra bounce, it's soft to land on and it's just perfect for tricking or gymnastics. This is an air track. It's a rubber mat that you fill up with air and it's a pretty cool training tool. And the makers of this air track, they thought to themselves, wait a minute, why don't we just make this thinner and put mats on top? Then it's basically a spring floor, right? Well, it's not. It's fucking awful. And here's why. First of all, it's not one big air track. It's a bunch of air tracks put next to each other with these foam connecting things in between to fill the gaps. Now you can't see these from above and they don't bounce and they're softer than the rest of the floor, which means high possibility of rolling your ankle. And if you ever take off from one of these on a double flip, for example, good luck, I hope you have good health insurance. Number two, because there is no wood in between, it's just your foot sinking into the floor. Which means swings are super awful and you will hit your swing leg on the floor all the fucking time. Number three, the timing is super weird and there is no perfect pressure. You see, with spring floor, the spring is very easy to compress at first and then it gets harder and harder the more it's compressed. Meaning you always get a little bit of bounce and if you want more bounce you just punch harder. Now with the air floor you can make it soft, then you always get a little bit of bounce, it's soft to land on, but if you punch too hard you're going to punch through the floor and literally bruise your heel, it has happened to us before, and it's also awful for swings. Then you also have the option to make it really hard. It's gonna be way better for swings. You can punch really hard, but unless you punch really hard, it's gonna be like that floor. You don't get any extra bounce on most tricks and there's a lot of impact. Now, there is a middle ground. You can pump it up somewhere in the middle and it's gonna be better at all of these, but it's also gonna be far from ideal in all of these ways. So my conclusion, well, the air track competition floor is inferior to foam or spring floor in Pretty much always, and you should not get one unless you have to, which is the reason why we have one. We don't have a place to permanently put a floor, meaning we always have to assemble and disassemble our floor every single session. And this is the only floor where that's sort of possible. So yeah, it really sucks. So I'm out of here. I am driving to Linz. It's like two and a half hours away. So five hours of driving for a two hour session. Sounds like a good deal, right? So I didn't land anything crazy, which makes sense after training the day before and also driving two and a half hours. But I still had a ton of fun and it was so nice to experience a real spring floor again. And this obviously isn't an excuse. I'm still gonna continue to train as hard as I can on the air floor, on grass, on concrete, any chance I get. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out there because I'm very frustrated with this floor and I'm gonna have to figure something out. But until then, I'll be stuck with this and the occasional trip to wherever there's a spring floor. So yeah, take care and I'll see you next week. Got a whole bunch of haters can't see like me A bunch of spectators like what is he gonna be? Let's do it! How about we put on for a minute I'm laid back alone, enjoy the show Tell them to bring the money, we'll enjoy the show Put it off in the pool, I'm swimming for about an hour